welcome to Avinta Talks. I am your host Rupak. Joining me today to discuss AI's impact on the voiceover industry are three guests. Aisha, a talented voiceover artist, Arjun, known for his professional voice, and Kiran, a budding child voiceover artist. Let's dive into our discussion. Hey everyone, firstly, thank you for joining us. This year's AI surge has significantly impacted the artist community, especially voiceover artists. Could you share your experiences with AI's rise? Group up AI voices used to exist from a long time, like one in Siri. But this year, we saw the transition of X to speech output from being robotic to almost human like. Plus, it offers output in various voices and languages, projects such as audiobooks or voiceover for short videos can now be easily done using AI. In 2023, people talked a lot about losing jobs, but in 2024, we can use AI to create more job opportunities. Right now, if you do voiceovers, you can only do jobs that fit your voice. What if you could change your voice? If someone doesn't like your first voice, you could try others. This could be voices of young or old people or even a different gender. Think about it. Imagine a world where you wouldn't miss out on jobs because of how your voice sounds. Instead, your energy and modulation can be applied to any voice. This could be really exciting, right? Yes, very much. But is that void even possible? How many years will it peak? We are almost there thanks to 11 Labs Speech to Speech STS feature. What is that? I think I had heard about it. It turns the recording of one voice into another. Not just that, it enables you to control the emotion, tone, and pronunciation beyond what's possible with text-to-speech prompts alone. That's truly innovative. But Hindi may be gone. Yes, it supports 29 languages. Rupak, is it easy to use for the non tech savvy person like me? Yeah, it's super easy. You have to record your audio in the voice style you want and the software does the rest. That's it? Yes, that's it. However, to achieve the best results, there are a few things we need to take care of. For instance, we should ensure that the audio we upload has clearly articulated words. I am certain that, as with all AI data set requirements, it needs to be cleaned as AI captures everything. But remember, AI is still evolving. So at certain words, it might miss out on clarity and you will have to regenerate and test it. Also, speech to speech on some voices are better than others. You will need to experiment. I hope with time, all voices improve. It's not perfect yet. But the possibilities it's opened up are immense. So I can pick my voice modulations and apply them to any voice. That means I no longer need to restrict myself to projects that only fit my natural voice. That's just wow. It's an exciting time for our industry and an ego to see its future impact. Can you tell me more about this feature? I'm sure you will have some unique Ithite learnings. I definitely have. And in the next podcast, I will share that. But for now, you guys just try the speech to speech feature. Thank you, Aisha, Arjun and Kiran for joining us. To our listeners, keep following Aventa Talks as we explore the integration of Gen AI in our work.